physicians wonder what, what kind of uh, staffing changes they need to make. You don't necessarily have to make a staffing change. Uh, you can use your same staff or not, but those are your decisions. Uh, we help train your staff or train new staff if necessary. The hybrid program does not require as much resource, but because 90% of your practice in a hybrid continues to be traditional practice, you generally are not going to reduce your, your staff size going into a hybrid. But what it does for your staff is it gives them, as well as you, an opportunity to have a breather. When you see one or two patients an hour, life is, is really uh, optimal, uh, professional life. And uh, physicians enjoy it, and the staff enjoys it. It gives everybody an opportunity to, to be their best for the remainder of the day and keep on their toes. Uh, the practice uh, slower pace is, is good for the patients. It, it also means that there's an opportunity to catch up with other things, even if they're on traditional side. So there's no, there's no prohibition to, to only work on, uh, on concierge patients during that period of time. Obviously, if someone comes in with an urgent matter, urgency trumps concierge, and concierge patients understand that. Concierge patients um, can come during traditional hours or during uh, concierge hours. When they come during concierge hours, uh, they're part of that system where there, there's a lot of time for very few people. But if it's more convenient for them to come during a traditional time, they're welcome to do so. And in, in that instance, they're treated like any other patient. There's no prioritization given to them. Uh, but oftentimes that's uh, a value to them. The practice changes in that there's a revenue increase. With about 50 members, a practice can realize as much as $75,000 more practice revenue on a per physician basis. If a practice were to generate 150 members, it's conceivable that that would generate hundreds of thousands of dollars of additional revenue. There are a lot of variables in the program. What price point is appropriate for you may not be the same price point that's appropriate for a doctor in the next state. We have variable price points that currently range from $1,500 to $2,500. Those are chosen in concert with the physician to make sure it both meets the, the, the uh, uh, economic environment and also meets the, uh, the uh, value for what is being delivered. Because what's in the program is defined by what you as a doctor wish to deliver. We don't tell you ever how to be a doctor. We never uh, require of you certain performances and certain things. Those decisions, the medical decisions and the practice decisions are entirely yours.